This is Confessions of a Refashionista. Hey! Welcome to the first ever Confessions of a Refashionista Makeover Show. I've got all of my gear here, and we're going to go buzz and head up to my first victim right now. Hi, are you ready for your Refashionista makeover? Absolutely, coming up. Fabulous! Whew, she lives on the top floor, so let's just head up all these stairs. Hi, I'm Sabina, mother of two with a full-time job. I used to love to dress up and I still have a closet full of clothes that um, still fit me and are still in very good condition. However, I'd really like to snazz them up a little bit and I don't want to go out because I think this whole fast fashion thing is really not on. So um, let's see what we can do maybe here. So what are your, your favorite things in this pile that you would like to be able to wear again but you just kind of don't right now well definitely the dress because that okay. used to be my favorite um this shirt because it's actually really nice and soft and right. it hasn't washed out or anything like that so that would be good and that actually coordinates together beautifully <gasps> and Speaking the of wish, pashmina. the pashmina. So it looks like for this episode, we're doing blues and oranges. Woo! <laughs> so here's our selections for what I'm gonna be refashioning for Zabina's fabulous refashionista to make over. So as you can see, I've already completed Zabina's fancy schmancy refashion dress. And to create this, all I did was combine my dress to die for tutorial with my super easy DIY dresses tutorial. Get the links below. So to do that, just chopped off the sleeves of the blouse, chopped off the collar of the blouse, chopped the blouse right under the bust, and then chopped the dress right under the bust as well. And then simply combined the top of the blouse with the bottom of the dress. And then I also created some adorable bias binding for the sleeve holes out of the remains of the dress. Now, let's go make the magic jacket. To create your very own cute and comfortable pashmina jacket, you'll need a jacket that already has the length that you desire, a pashmina, and scissors and your sewing gear. So your first step is to fold the pashmina in half lengthwise with the right sides facing together and then lay it on a flat surface with the fold at the top. Next you want to grab that jacket and lay it on top of the pashmina with the shoulder lined up with the fold of the pashmina and then simply mark with a pin right where the underarm seam is of the jacket as well as the length of the jacket plus a few extra centimeters so you can give the bottom a nice clean hem. Next grab your scissors and chop the pashmina to the length that you marked from the jacket. Next head on over to your machine and simply stitch straight down from those underarm pin marks. Once your side seams are finished, then all you have to do is chop straight up the middle of the front of what will soon be your finished jacket and chop out the basic neckline shape that you desire. Then measure the width of the armholes. Grab one of those remaining chopped pashmina pieces, fold it in half with right sides facing, and then chop it to the size of your armhole, giving yourself a centimeter or two for seam allowance. Head on over to your machine and stitch up that raw edge, chop off the excess, and go repeat with that other piece of chopped pashmina. 
flip them right side out and voila, you have two lovely sleeves. Grab the almost done jacket and pop one of the sleeves into one of the armholes with right sides facing and the seams lined up. Then all you have to do is go stitch them together. Hooray! The lovely pashmina jacket now has some sleeves. Now all you gotta do is go ahead and hem up all of those raw edges because the pashmina is a crazy fraying fabric. So Zabina doesn't really wear a lot of makeup every day. So we figured, why not find a DIY online showing exactly how to do a nice, natural, everyday look. And hey, what better than to use the tutorial on my very own Confessions of a Refashionista vlog. So let's get started and Sabina's going to do her own makeup following my tutorial. with this. Uh, I can't believe how well two of my old garments fit together um, and actually fit so well. Um, this is something I can wear to afternoon tea with my girlfriends. I can wear it to work actually because look it, it used to be a business shirt um, and now it's actually more fun with the bottom bit. Um, I am amazed how well uh, the, the makeup looks and how easy it was to do so that's something I will definitely consider in the future although I will test it on the weekend as a mummy and when I get really fast, I can do it during the week as well. I am absolutely thrilled that Zabina is so happy with her Refashionista makeover. For more tips, tricks, and of course, DIY tutorials, head on over to my Confessions of a Refashionista blog at awesomesauceasshattery.com. And until next time, I'll catch ya on the zigzag.